Yes, a win for the American Constitution, baby. This channel is about... is the dealio folkios i am ty smith modern renaissance man welcome to my channel modern renaissance man do me a favor if this uh is a channel that you've been following for a while double check to make sure that you are subscribed uh if you are someone that's actually fairly new to the channel kind of get an idea about it continue to get an idea about my entire channel what it all entails okay then go ahead and make that commitment to subscribe also those that think that you are subscribed to my channel as well i've been talking with youtube if the bell notification is pressed make sure it's to all and i hate to say it folks this sucks but you might have to check this thing on a daily basis because they're working on doing something right there with my channel they say they found some discrepancies yeah anyway uh huge 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 great decision right here this says supreme court ruling limits local ability to restrict guns outside of home a 63 decision was based on broad interpretation of the second amendment the supreme court on thursday struck down new york law that placed strict limits on carrying guns outside the home saying it was at odds with the second amendment the ruling was only the court's second major statement on the scope of individual constitution right to keep and bear arms and it's first on how right applies to firearms in public places the decision has far-reaching implications particularly in cities that had sought to address gun crimes by putting restrictions on who carry them the ruling comes after a spat of a spate of mass shootings reinvigorated the debate over gun control the senate is close to passing bipartisan bipartisan uh, package on gun safety measures a major step towards ending years-long stalemate in congress the vote was six to three with the court's three liberal members in dissent, of course, the New York law requires that people seeking a license to carry a handgun outside their home show a proper cause. California, Hawaii, Maryland, Massachusetts, New Jersey, and Rhode Island have similar laws according to the briefs filed in the case. Two men who were denied the licenses they sought in New York sued, saying that the state makes it virtually impossible for the ordinary law-abiding citizen to obtain a license. That is exactly what they're going for right here. Ladies and gentlemen, understand this. You need to understand that whenever they are coming for our guns, there is a two-part psychological impact it will have and that they're trying to have on you. What is that? Number one, if they can come for the guns, you won't be able to protect yourself from hoodlums, thugs, would-be rapists, would-be robbers. You wouldn't be able to protect yourself from them. The second portion of that is, if they were to take away the guns, you wouldn't be able to protect yourself from the very thing that this constitution was written for, the government. Yeah, if the government became tyrannical, we would have to protect ourselves from them. Understand the constitution, understand your rights, people. You need to do this because if you don't know your rights, you can easily get it taken from you. I told you guys, where is it at? My son was younger. I had a penny. He had a nickel. The penny is not worth more than a nickel. Right? It's not worth more than a nickel. A dime is worth more than a nickel. So I try to convince my son, I will give him the penny if he gives me the nickel. He wouldn't do it. Why? Because the nickel was bigger. Okay? I had a dime. Try to trade my son for the nickel for the dime. He wouldn't do it. Right? Having no idea that the dime is worth more than nickel. But because he didn't know that, I was easily able to get by on actually saying I have a better deal. He wouldn't trade it because it felt like he had something that was worth more than what I had. What am I saying that for? If you don't know what your worth is and what you have and what it's worth, it can easily be taken from you. You can be easily missing out on something that you don't even know that you have rights to that can actually enhance your life. So what I'm saying that for is this. The government comes in and try to take our guns through these deceitful means. You have to try to rely on the government then to come and save you 
from the hoodlums, from the criminals. What are we going to do? You know, the criminals are just out of control. We have no way of protecting ourselves. Government, I'll step right in. What did Ronald Reagan say? When the government says that they will show up to help, you know that there's going to be an issue there. So anyway, this says that the men, Robert Nash and Brandon Cock, were authorized to carry guns for target practice and hunting away from populated areas. State officials told the Supreme Court, Mr. Cock allowed, Mr. Cock was allowed to carry, was to carry a gun to and from work. Nash and Cock did not receive unrestricted license because neither demonstrated a non-speculative need to carry a handgun virtually anywhere in any public place. Barbara D. Underwood, New York's Solicitor General, told the justices in a brief. In 2008, a District of Columbia versus Heller, the Supreme Court, recognized an individual right to keep guns in the home for self-defense. Since then, it has been almost silent on the scope of Second Amendment rights. Indeed, the court for many years turned down countless appeals in the Second Amendment cases. In the meantime, lower courts generally sustained gun control laws, but they were divided on a question posed by the case from New York, whether states can stop law-abiding citizens from carrying guns outside their homes for self-defense unless they can satisfy the authorities that they have good reasons for doing so. Last year, for instance, the United States Courts of Appeal for the Ninth Circuit in San Francisco upheld Hawaii's law 7-4 to four vote. Our review of more than 700 years of English and American legal history reveals a strong theme. Government has the power to regulate arms in the public square. Who was appointed by President George Washington Bush wrote for the majority. The Federal Appeals Court in Chicago, on the other hand, struck down an Illinois law and banned carrying guns in public. Look how that's going right now. I grew up in Chicago some and then moved to another place that we call baby Chicago in Decatur, Illinois. What are these gun laws in Chicago doing for right now? What are they doing right now? What some of the strictest gun laws in America, what good is it doing right now? That is absolutely crazy. The Federal Appeals Court in Chicago, on the other hand, they struck down the Illinois law that banned carrying guns in public. And the Federal Appeals Court in Washington struck down restrictive district of Columbia law that it had said amounted to a total ban on most D.C. residents right to carry a gun. You don't have a right to protect yourself from thugs, hoodlums, would-be robbers. You don't have a right to do that. I'm sorry, I think that, was, that to me, in Chi-Town, that would be on a case-to-case -case basis. Because if I'm there, in certain areas, I'm packing. I, I don't care, I told y'all, I, I, you can say what you want to. If I'm about, something's about to go down, and I kill that person that's trying to kill me, I'm just about to do that jail time. I'm not dead. My family did not lose their husband, my wife did not lose her husband, my sons did not lose their father. I'll do that year or two. I don't care. Say what you want to. You're not supposed to be, well, you weren't supposed to be caring. Dude had a gun and was getting ready to kill me. They were about to rob me. I shot them. If you want to make that an issue, oh, well, I will get an attorney and I will fight that. The court's reluctance to hear the Second Amendment case has changed as his membership shifted to the right in recent years. President Donald Trump, three appointees, Justice Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh and uh, Amy Coney Barrett have all expressed support for guns. The Supreme Court's most con conservative members have long deplored the court's reluctance to explore the meaning and the scope of the Second Amendment, which they do. In 2017, Justice Clarence Thomas, woo, love him, wrote that he detected a distressing trend. <coughs> Excuse me. A distressing trend, the treatment of the Second Amendment as a disfavored right. For those of us who work in marbled halls, guarded constantly by a vigilant, a vigilant and dedicated police force and guarantees of the Second Amendment might seem... Uh, Antiquated and superfluous, Justice wrote. But the farmers made it clear they reserved all Americans the right to bear arms for self-defense. In 2019, uh, not long after Justice Kavanaugh's arrival, the court agreed to hear a challenge to New York City gun regulation that had allowed residents to keep guns in their homes to take them on to take one of seven shooting ranges in the city, but it prohibited them from taking their guns to second homes and shooting ranges outside the city, even when the guns were unloaded and locked in the containers separate from the ammunition. Some of those things are real stupid guys. You know, you have a gun, but you better have the clip somewhere else. You can have the gun, you know, down by this part, but you need to have the clip locked over in this part because while you getting jacked, you say, hold on, let me put this. I don't care. Look, I'm just, look, <laughs> someone's going down to my vehicle. You get capped. I'm going to tell them I saw them coming out of my mirror and as they was coming and I saw them in my rear view mirror or my side mirror, I went ahead and reached for my clip and put it in there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what I, that's what I did. 
After the court granted a review, the city repealed the regulation and the court eventually dismissed the case as moot. In, the, in concurring opinion, Justice Kavanaugh wrote that he was concerned that lower courts were not sufficiently sensitive to the Second, rights, Second Amendment rights. The court should address that issue soon, he wrote. In June, however, the court turned down some 10 appeals in the Second Amendment cases. Since it takes only four votes to grant review, there is good reason to think that the court's conservative wing, which at the time had five members, was unsure it could secure Chief Justice John Roberts Jr.'s vote. Justice Barrett's arrival changed that calculus. Six months after she joined the court, it agreed to hear the New York case, New York State Rifle and Pistol Association. Okay? The Supreme Court... Uh, revolutionized Second Amendment law with its 2008 decision, which ruled that the Constitution protected an individual right not tied to militia service for law-abiding people to keep guns in their homes for self-defense. The decision contained a famous, a famous proposal that appeared to allow many kinds of guns, uh, many kinds of gun control laws. Okay, nothing in our opinion, wrote for the majority, should be taken to cast doubt on long-standing prohibitions on the possession of firearms by felons and the mentally ill or laws forbidding to carry a firearms in sensitive places such as schools, government buildings, laws imposing conditions and qualifications of the commercial sales of arms. Nor, he wrote, nor, he wrote, does our analysis suggest the invalidity of laws regulating the storage of firearms to prevent accidents. Justin, I might be saying this wrong, Scalia, who died in 2016, added that laws banning dangerous and unusual weapons were another important limitation on the right to keep and carry um, carry arms. I'm sorry, carry on. Um, he gave an example, M16 rifles and like. But who is walking around with M16s? Who's walking around with M16s? Don't try to go with the AR deal because AR, has, or AR is not a machine gun. Anyway, when the case was argued in 2008, Justice Scalia suggested that other kinds of weapons and ammunition could be regulated. I don't, in here go quotes, I don't know what a lot of people have machine guns or armor-piercing bullets, he said. I think that's quite unusual. Applying the Heller decision, lower courts have upheld federal laws banning guns ownership by people convicted of felonies and some misdemeanors by unauthorized immigrants, by drug addicts. They have upheld laws concerning unregistered weapons, laws banning machine guns, who has machine guns, sawed-off shotguns, and laws making it illegal to carry guns near schools. So, folks, I'm just telling y'all straight out, this right here is a huge win for those of the uh, those that are American patriots and love the Second Amendment. This is a huge win for people in New York because y'all know New York has turned absolutely crazy it has become lawless the police were sitting there fighting for their own own dignity their own honor when they were being um defunded and all that and then by them being by them being defunded DeSantis in florida was telling them hey y'all can come on down here i'll give y'all a sign on bonus at that a lot of those cops left what's messed up is that the law-abiding citizens the innocent people were left to whatever the criminals wanted to do and to make it so bad, these criminals were going to jail and getting right back out. Like the guy that shot those people on the, um, the shot that uh, market. I think he was a trader. He shot that market trader. That guy had already been a felon, been in jail and all that. It was let right back out. This is what I'm saying. So I'm so glad that, uh, that they did this. I'm so glad that they were able to get this done because now there are going to be law-abiding citizens. And I'm guarantee you, baby, and I hope y'all do, we the people in the New York I hope y'all do go out right now today and go and get the uh, proper steps in getting you a uh, Second Amendment nice piece of firearms to protect you and your family because this is what we stand on. This is what America is about. For those of you that don't like guns, that's completely fine. Just If you don't like guns and you just say guns or blah, 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 that's completely fine. But this is not for you. This is for the ones that want to. Like I always tell people, I would rather have my gun and not have to use it than to need my gun and not have it i that's me i that's me i would rather do that you and yours that's completely fine it's not gonna happen to me i'm all about the second amendment i'm all about people protecting themselves and you know you heard well, who's to say by any means necessary so um yeah this is a huge win and again this is the supreme court ruling it limits local ability to restrict guns outside the home the six three decision was based on broad interpretation so and all in all, what this is saying, 
it expands the U.S. gun rights. The Supreme Court of the United States, it throws out the New York handgun law, and I'm glad that they did. They threw out the New York handgun law that was restricting good law-abiding citizens people from getting guns. They made it like almost super hard. It didn't, it's, it's sad because it's like they didn't want you to protect yourself. So I'm not going to ramble on about that, guys. What do y'all think about this ruling? I don't care whether you like guns or not. What do you think about this ruling? There's another ruling that happened, too, that's dealing with the schools. That is another awesome one. I might hit on that, too. Anyway, guys, let me know what y'all think by leaving in the comments about this video. Don't forget to double check to make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. I am Ty Smith, my Renaissance man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I hope and pray every last one of you guys are in great health. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. And also, right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But, like, right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So, in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel. Because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.